Hello, it is I, Dr. Brian Norgon 111, and welcome back to Gnit Underground, where we have like 96% of the map filled out or something ridiculous like that. And I'll probably put my main screenshot map up on the screen, and there are some holes back in Utopioka. I'm actually going to show a zoomed-in version. And uh, basically there are screens that I had filled out on my minimap in-game, but I'm not sure that I've actually visited since we got the owl mask to know where we are. And so I want to go back there. Um, you'll also notice that there are a number of kind of duplicate little rooms and offshoots coming out of Utopioka that's got like some kind of corrupted uh, copied version of some nearby rooms. It's kind of an interesting place. So uh, let's go ahead back in game. However, before I do that, there are also some screens that were up in the ceiling nearby over here to the right that I don't know why it didn't occur to me that the correct way to get them would be to do the thing I'm about to do. But there is this yellow thing, uh, the yellow power-up, that lets me go up into the sky right here, and I didn't know how to get over to the right. And it occurs to me that what I need to do, I think, is take the yellow power up over here and press it here. And now, okay, that totally would have worked, but actually I could do it right here. Great. So let's try that again. So I just needed to walk it out of this room and use it here, and then I can grab over here and actually go to the right. So let's check out what's on the screen. All right, there's one of the two screens that I didn't manage to get filled out. Looks like I need to use Bob here. Uh, and, oh, hmm. This one's actually a little tricksy, isn't it? Um, hmm. Can I? Oop. I probably just want to use Bob's momentum all the way through there. So I guess let's try it again and just stay in Bob form. Seems like a plan. So if I go up here, and then... Stay in Bob form and then try to bounce over to the left. Okay. Yeah, that works. Okay, and now I can see what's over here, finally. It's an item! It was all worth it. Boing. What do we get? It's a bronze coin. All right, now we know. And no obvious secrets over here. And if I were to climb down this... Yeah, it's not really an easy climb down. Okay, I'm going to head back over to Utopioka and I'll meet you over there. Alright, so I've made it back to the middle of Utopioka. The screen below me, I'm not sure if I've ever seen after having the owl mask. It does just look like this. Alright, so I think I did see that, but I didn't take proper screenshot for my map. And then if I go up two screens from here, that's somewhere else that I don't have on my screenshot map. And I can't go up two screens from here, so that's going to make things more difficult. However, I could also go left, left, up. And get around there, I think. So yeah, upwards from here is also somewhere I don't have on my screenshot map. So over here... Alright, I do have up, but I don't have right. Interesting. I see, and this just goes back down, okay. And then that would fall back down to where I just was, all right. So we did actually witness that when we came through the first time, but I didn't have screenshots of it. And then finally, from here, if I go up and right, this will be the four-way intersection, yeah. There's this room, and then I think there's something that transitions back into the real world, yeah. All right. So now I have those on my map, and let me figure out what else I need to take a look at. This is one of the duplicated screens that, um, there's another version of the screen that doesn't have the top, right, or bottom exits, uh, but otherwise looks exactly like this nearby in Utopioka. All right, and then moving a few screens to the right. We have been here before. To the right apparently is one of the blood melons that I seek. Can I get it from here? No, because I would need to shoot the dude, and I don't have a shooty thingy. Is there a shooty thingy below me? There is a shooty thingy below me, actually, but the red thingies are going to block me from getting it. 
And even if I had the shooty thingy, I'm not sure I could bring it up here easily, so I might have to come to that screen from the right-hand side. Which looks like it might be possible. And then also looking at my map, there's a question mark and another thingy that I might also have to come from the top. So let's just, oops, uh, try to go explore that together. And I wonder what that red block there is all about. Also, can I get up here? I think I did manage to do this. Yeah, that's not a problem. All right. So, over this way. Uh, remind me who you are. Oh, gee! This is uh, the one... Right, last time I came here, this house was empty. G disappeared. This is the one who's going to give you the progress meter upgrade. Who you sent? Dora. It's okay. Did something happen? Udo was cooking. I came in, then I saw it. What Udo put in the food. Oh no. Don't tell me that. It was Wangle Flower. Those are those red flowers that would put people into a trance or whatever. Oh no. That's why I fell in love one day. I never used to like Udo. I'm sorry. You did the right thing leaving Udo, though. I don't know. I still feel like I'm in love. Perhaps I should go back. It's not real. That's the Wangle Flower. What do you really feel, like, deep inside? Then I feel that I love Udo. Oh, no. <laughs> Listen, someone you didn't even like put a drug in your food to control your emotions. I know that. You can't let Udo get away with that. It's too wrong. I know there's somebody else for you. Just don't go back. Yeah, you're right. I almost forgot. Here's your air egot. Oh, right, we had to get the two green mushrooms. I can't accept them. Drop the progress bar. Oh, no, on the way here, because I was so upset. Now it's broken. The liquid is gone. Progress bar had a liquid in it. Was it like a thermometer? Hmm. Take the mushrooms. There are plenty of artifacts for us to find anyway. Thank you. All right, so we gave our mushrooms to G. Thanks for the advice. We gave us some advice. And now I'm going to try to circle around and see if I can pick up some blood. Oh, this is why I didn't go this way. Because I can't go this way. I even have a screenshot of it, but it didn't occur to me when I glanced at the screenshot that I can't go this way. That's true, right? Yeah, Bob could never bounce all the way up there. I'm fairly certain I did press against all the obvious candidate locations. Actually, I'm not sure that I did this. Hold on. What if I did that? Nope. Nowhere to take a secret through there either. So I don't think I can get to the upper right, but I've been to the upper right screen, but it involves going through a bunch of like puzzle screens. Okay. It's going to be difficult to get over to where that other blood melon is. Um, I do have my map open on the other screen. Can I reason through it? I think I want to go down like two levels. So I think I actually need to go back this way and then like a bunch of screens to the right on this level. So we'll try to solve this puzzle together if we can. This is fine in this state. This is where, if the red was open, let's just verify that Bob wouldn't be able to help me here. I don't think he would. Yeah, he can't bounce that high. I might be able to do something clever to bounce up there, but I feel like there's another solution. And then over here... Yeah, this screen. So the Blood Melon is currently on the left-hand side. I can just get there, can't I? Actually, how would I get there? Hold on. Actually, how do I get anywhere? What is this game? If I do this, that even doesn't get me there. I guess I need to press blue and climb up blue in order to get up the middle side. So let's do that. And get eyes on the screen again. So yeah, the thingy is on the left. There's a red button again. And if I used Bob and Momentum... I 
don't think that would work. I need blue to be pressed, but I need to be on the other side. And there's a blue button over there. But I'd be on the wrong side. And remind me up here, I think this is just a corner screen, right? Yeah, we found one of the melons here, maybe? So I need... I need things to be in a different state. I need blue to be here when I'm coming from the left. So where is there a blue button that I could press? I don't have the map at a zoom level where I can find the blue buttons very easily from here, I don't think. I don't think there's any downward. And so I think it would be above me. Oh, here's a blue button. But if I press this blue button, then this changes. And so I see a way through the map though. Okay, so with that in that state, then I can go up, right, right, down through it, across over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. Okay, I think let's do this together because I think it'll actually be, I don't know, to appreciate the puzzle solving. And this is where I'm super glad that I actually have the screenshot map. So I want to go right, right. Don't, I just hit the red button. Oh, I have to hit the red button to go through here. Wait a minute. I have to hit the red button to go through there, but now that's going to change this bit. So I have to hit that blue button and not hit that red button. There's a thing in the ceiling. Is there a secret in the ceiling somewhere I haven't found? Hold on. Hold the phone. Maybe there's a secret in the ceiling that I haven't found, and I have to go through that secret ceiling route in order to avoid pressing the red button. Um, oops. Come on, Brian. There we go. Ah, darn it. <laughs> uh, let's try this again. Okay. So, is there a secret route? There's not one through there. How can I solve this? There's not a secret route over here. Uh, was there a secret route in your house by any chance, G? There's not. And there's definitely not a secret on that screen. So I'm kind of stuck. Let me go off camera and look at my map and see if I can figure out a way to solve this puzzle. I think I see the answer. And it explains why there were some weird, uh, difficult screens that it didn't seem like there was a reason to go through before. So if I go down here, there's a series of four kind of challenge screens. And this is actually one of them, because I have to use Bob. Okay, great. Uh, this one, I guess, is not all that challenging, actually. So we won't call it a challenge screen. Or this one? Okay. <laughs> Maybe it's not quite as many challenge screens as I thought. There's this one. But I guess previously I might have gone through, like, clockwise rather than counterclockwise or something. Or the other way around. Um, rats. What is the overall strategy here? It's not easy. That almost worked, actually. Okay. That didn't quite work. That worked. Alright, great. That brings me here. I don't think I need to use this upwards, but possibly there's a way to do it. Uh, but then I think I need to use this. Um, now I'm on the... I pressed the blue thing, so now the blue wall is up, which means I can climb up here. Which means we get the one blood melon that's over here. There we go. And then, is there a secret to the left? If not, I think I do have to press that other thing. And I just press the red button. Which hopefully isn't gonna bite me in the butt. <laughs> um, I think it's gonna bite me in the butt, actually. I could press the blue again over here if I need to. And I do, because I don't want those reds in the way. Okay, so I need to press this blue again. And then... Oh. But then how am I going to get back around that side? No. 
I think I made a mess of this. It's a little bit of a smaller mess than I thought, because I can go back around this way now. Alright, but I've got a long walk to get back, so I'll meet you back over there. Okay, and so now I think I do need to bring this to the screen above. How am I possibly going to do that? Bring this to the screen above me. I mean, I guess, Bob, is there any secret over here? Or over here, possibly? There's white flowers over here. Are they just suggesting that white is nearby? Or is there some way that I could use it here? Don't press the red button. That'd be kind of bad right now. I don't see any, like, secret holes in the ceiling. And there isn't, like, a secret way to climb there. And if I bounce with Bob... I kind of lost my momentum there. There's also white thingies over here. There aren't any here. Did I miss a secret that's in this room somehow? So if I could carry this white thingy upwards, I could solve the room above me and get that blood melon, I think. But I don't see a way to do that. Because Bob can only bounce so high. And even if I got Bob getting, like, extra momentum right here... Yeah, it's not gonna work. So there must be another solution that I haven't... Wait a minute, is there something here? No. There must be another solution. There must be another solution. What is the other solution? If I started from the top of this room and bounced with Bob, I could probably bounce back up. So how do I get to the top of this room with blues still open? That's got to be the solution. So... Okay, I can press blue on the other side again here. Oh, and in order, to, I probably have to climb up through that tunnel right there in order to get to blue there. So, I think what I need to do is uh, I need to use Bob bouncing here. Okay. Then I need to climb upwards in this room through the hole. Climbing against the blue bricks. Then come over here to the right without pressing that red button. Yes, this has got to be it. And then also don't press the red button here. And bounce super high. Oh, right. Hmm. Yeah, so I need to do this. Great. Oh, boy. I, it was the right idea, but I didn't quite shoot him. Okay, but I can totally do this. Got him. Okay, now that he's dead, I do want to switch it to red. Well, kind of. That lets me through here, and I've never seen the screen to the right of me, and so let's hope it's also going to let me switch the block colors again. It does. Oh. <laughs> I see. But I have to pay a price to switch the block colors. Okay. So at what moment do I want to do this? And am I just trying to bob my way back? Probably. And I guess the moment doesn't really matter all that much. Oh boy! Uh, the moment does matter. It's kind of checkpoint me up over here. I appreciate that. Uh, hmm. I imagine that these were shooting all the time. Oh, he's always... All, one of the lasers is always starting pointing at me? No. I'm not sure how to reason about the timing here. There's probably a good way to do it, and I don't know what it is. So I'm just going to take a chance, and we made it. Okay, great. And so now I can climb up here and get the final blood melon. 
Jabilo, be so happy to get these blood melons. Yes. And so that is our quest that is now lit up with the queue below us. And hopefully I can find my way back. And also I need to shoot you. Oh, except for I need to press this button. There we go. So that I can shoot you and come back. Okay, so then down, right, right. Hopefully, can I go this way? I can't go this way now. <laughs> so it's still a long way back around. Okay. So, I will go meet you over at Jamila's now, because this is quite the long trek. And it just occurred to me that this red brick in the ceiling is not here because there's a path in the ceiling, it's just here to show the state, if things are currently red or blue, so that you understand the implications of hitting that button each time you come around. Makes sense. Okay, after a bit more travel, so, are these your friends? Yes, the sprite is me. She's on a quest and I help her out. The fairy is Celia. She dislikes things. <laughs> That's a good description of Celia. Okay, here's where we need to bring it. Three blood melons. I hope this will help. Most certainly will. Thank you. We have to go. It's this totally important quest we need to do. I understand. Thanks for stopping by. It was nice to see you again. All right. Uh, quest completed. Did not pick up any new artifacts or specific rewards. Thanks for stopping by. All right, so I guess we get to feel good about ourselves. And now I need to figure out what I'm doing next. I also, I've chopped this up into little bits a few times, so I have no idea where I am in an episode. So I will see you when I see you. Perhaps sooner than later. Celia says, how'd you know that you can make blood melon into medicine? I'm super smart. And apparently you know the staff here. Yeah, must we talk about this? Nope, you're right, let's forget it. Because you figured it out already. So I guess it was like a mental health clinic, and so I guess after Dora had the incident with Spiro and the scissors, she checked herself in here, maybe, or something? Yep. I'm guessing. Um, Alright. I'm gonna try to make it back to a save point. Uh, yeah, and figure out where I am in an episode and what we're doing next. Oh, there's another earthquake. Um, all right. And I see the earthquake hole on the map. It is in the center upper section that's not on my map at the right edge. There's an earthquake hole that leads in there. Um, I keep trying to go off camera and I have to leave the camera running because things keep happening. Uh, but things keeping happening is kind of good. This game was very slow in the first third and it's really kind of picked up after that. Um, where am I going? I need to get to a save point. There is a save point kind of over near where that earthquake hole is, actually. So I'll try to make my way over there. Yikes. So there's the fresh earthquake hole to the left. However, I really need to reach a save point. So I'm going to do that first. Can I retrace my steps back up here? Yes, I can. Great. Okay. Here's the save point. And I'm really curious about the earthquake spot. <laughs> so let's just go ahead and check it right now. I still haven't edited things together to know how we're doing on time for today. But this is too interesting. Whenever there's an earthquake, it's like, oh, a new portion of the map has opened up as a result of story progress. It's like one of the most exciting turning point moments of the game. And also it helps me fill in my map which is getting very close to 100% at this point. Okay, first off, there's a screen below me I've never been to, so I definitely want to keep an eye out for possible secrets. Sadly, it doesn't seem like this is going to get there directly. This screen seems familiar. Is this somewhere we visited back in chapter one? Ladies, I present to you the Red Pierrot Collective. Oh, is this? Correct. It's the place where I was born. My parents founded this. Nice. So whose families live here? Yeah, though mine just cons... Hmm. I misread something there, I think. Though mine just consisted of me and my dad. Oh well. Parents living together. Overrated. I mean, as if it did me any good. Alright, so Dora lived here with her dad? Dad? It's Dora. Ah, oh, he's not home. I hope it's merely that he's not home and not that some tragedy's befallen him. Where was your mother, by the way? 
Super close. To the west. We could actually go see her now, actually. Okay, sure, why not? Also, there could also... There's a bunch of blank space in the bottom, so there could be a secret entrance on some screen to the left that, that we can run underneath this place to get back to that hole in the ground, possibly, so I should keep my eye out for that. More pretty flowers. A weird geometry. But I guess if you're a fairy, you could just fly over all this. I see the stuff in the ceiling as well. Okay, almost there. Do you see your mom often? Yeah, well, in a way. In a way? Ah, we're gonna see mom's grave. Wait. You aren't trying to pull some dramatic stuff now. Not gonna turn out to be dead or something, like her place isn't a gravestone? I guess I was trying to build up to it. No gravestone, though. She was cremated. All right. Well, I guessed correctly, as did Celia. This is the spot. It's more a feeling than an event. I was way too young to grasp it. I remember searching for my mom here, like if she would come back or something. Do you remember much about her? Kind of do. I have memories. They're just things Dad told me. I get the two mixed up. I don't see it as a problem. I mean, I'll just ask her later. Huh? Oh, you mean the next life or something? Yeah. Everything happens for a reason, even the bad stuff. In the end, everything will be put right, and will stay that way forever. That's what I believe. All right. So, this is where Dora's mother is. And we still have that one mysterious spot on the map. And I am going to look carefully, and also we're curious about what happened to her father. How do you deal with it? I mean, you think we just disappear into the Great Void. I'm scared of dying, Dora. I really want you to be right. Then why don't you... I believe it would modif... If believing modif... Blah. If believing would modify reality accordingly, I'd be more than happy to. Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. Alright, so there's a suspicious thing on the ceiling here that I want to see if I can bounce up to somehow. It's probably nothing. Uh, but I would like to bounce up there and be a little bit more sure. It's not going to be easy to bounce up to. It's not necessarily super difficult. Uh, hmm. But you see that spot in the ceiling. It looks like it might go somewhere. Hmm, it's actually going to be harder to get to than I thought. And I have been up. I think the place I'm trying to go to is down. So maybe I won't spend too much effort trying to look over there. And then, is anything going to happen when we go back to Celia's father's place? Still just the same. And, yeah, nothing obvious in the ceiling there, and no obvious places to find secrets in the floor over here. Dora? Yeah? A bit unrelated to your mom, that stuff. But every time I learn something about you, it's just all very inconsistent. Depends on who you ask, or wait. It depends on when that person knew me. What were you at the care center for, anyway? Oh, nothing really. Well, I may have tried to kill myself. Only a little bit. Oh my goodness, really? I wasn't very good at it. There used to be a super insecure girl who hurt other people to feel better about herself or something. Later, she was depressed and tried to kill herself. Thing is, that wasn't me. It's some other girl. I just had the same name as her. That and all her memories. And her body. Still, I'm not her. It's how it feels. Does it make any sense? I think I get it. How'd you change, though? What happened? Celia, I don't think you'd understand. Trust me. Try me. I'm not stupid, you know? No, really. It's just not your thing. This isn't some spiritual stuff, right? Like you didn't meet God or something? You're not ready to hear it. Alright, we're definitely getting, like, a lot of build-up progression in terms of... The development of our fairy characters who have been with us through thick and thin. This could be a spot where a future earthquake would open up again, maybe? Maybe. Um, so maybe that's a way that I'll eventually get to that screen? In any case, um, yeah. Now I really need to do some editing. I have a feeling this is going to be enough for an episode, so I'm going to say, I hope as always, that you all are having a great day, and I will see you again soon with more Knit Underground, where we still have a couple of bells to ring, but we still have a lot of kind of 
finishing up all the loose ends of this game, and I'm curious to see where the story is going to take us. So, yeah, look forward to it. For now, bye-bye.